at you. Hi, this is Andrew with Balls Still USA, and today we're going to talk about all of our specialty bars that I have here at the showroom and kind of explain what they do and who they're for. Uh, all these bars we've had for quite some time, they've all held up really, really well. Uh, this is our narrow folding rack that I'm going to display them on. I'll kind of just tell you the name of the bar and then we'll kind of tell you kind of what they're used for. So the top bar is our uh, strong man, or strong arm, sorry, strong arm uh, buffalo bar. Our next bar is our easy curl bar from Bells of Steel. Our new Swiss bar from Bells of Steel. Our new safety bar from Bells of Steel. And then at the very bottom, we got our trap bar. And we'll, we'll kind of zoom down and show that one later. Uh, so the first one is your, is your uh, buffalo bar. And what is it good for? Um, it is a cambered bar. So kind of two schools of thought is one it's different than a regular stiff bar it holds the weight at a, at a lower angle it helps with shoulder mobility it's kind of the biggest thing that people use it for it's good for good mornings and other other uh, workout accessories like that but the biggest one is just pure squatting uh, it's, it's a nice bar because it's wider and I can grab the bar lower and it's just less wear and tear on my shoulders and having the bar up high on my back so our next bar is going to be our easy curl bar um, this is just a pure upper body accessory bar. Um, I'm sure someone in the history of mankind has created a lower body workout for this, but the biggest thing with this is triceps and biceps. Just a straight, different handle, different position, great upper body accessory bar. Next is our Swiss bar. Um, this bar is great for an upper body bench variation. Um, pretty much Anybody that benches regularly will eventually look for a different type of accessory or different movement for upper body. And the Swiss bar is great for different ranges of motion on our bench to work on narrow grip, to work more triceps, to work out wider for more chest. Uh, this is a great bar, great accessory bar. Uh, well, we use it a lot on max days too, so it can be the main movement too on, on your movement. Same thing with the Buffalo bar uh, or a Camber bar. It can be a great for a first movement as well. Uh, but you can do an overhead press with this thing, you can do curls with it, but I like to use it straight. If I'm using curls, I'd rather use an easy curl bar because this thing out the gate is a little bit heavy. So especially if you're not a big curler, this is going to be pretty heavy for curling. Uh, so I use, I use it just how it is, I use it as a bench bar. Uh, some people like to do rows with them too, so it's, it's good for different grips and row. Uh, once again, I use it mainly for bench, but it can be a great row bar as well if you get bored with your standard bar or if you have uh, if you throw your grip fails. Uh, next is our Bells of Steel Safety Squat Bar. So next we're going to talk about the Bells of Steel Safety Squat Bar. Um, I have three kind of main movements or uses that we use for our safety squat bar. Uh, one of the big ones is rehab. So if you've just had a shoulder injury, and you have a hard time gripping a bar, your safety squat pad is nice and soft and it's a great way to hold on to the bar without having to pull your arms really far back to hold on to a bar. Um, another reason that we use a safety squat bar is to learn how to front squat. Um, it's a great variation instead of using a front squat. A lot of people don't have the shoulder mobility to do a front squat. Um, the plates are actually in a forward position in front of you. So it's like the same type of movement for a front squat as far as where the weight uh, sits but it's a, just an easier way to hold the bar another thing that I use it a lot for is for learning how to squat if you don't know how to hold a bar or you're really not to that progression yet the safety squat bar is it is what it is it's a, it's a great easy way to learn how to squat you just uh, get inside the bar it's got nice pads and you can easily uh, use the bar um, the, the biggest accessory that people use with the safety squat bar is your good morning. Um, but for this bar in particular, I think it's most used for squatting. I think it's great for any population. Once again, I would use it more for accessories like um, you can do higher reps with it. I do lunges with it, some high knees. You can even use this open trap bar um, to do some upper body accessories. Um, I hope this video helped kind of define uh, what bar is best for you and why we choose and use each bar um, Once again, most of these bars can be used for top sets But the, but at the end of the day we use a lot of them for accessories 
Um, you will have videos in the future that show some different accessories that you can do with each bar, but I hope this video helped um, help you choose the bar that you're looking for. Thank you so much.